In The Search for Growth, Grant Thornton presents a detailed look into the views of senior private equity fund executives from around the world. The report is the firm's second, aimed at shining a spotlight on emerging trends, practices and challenges in private equity. Firms are under an increasing number of pressures, which, with the continuing macroeconomic uncertainty, are acting to materially change the PE environment. Whilst these challenges may suggest an industry laden with apprehension rather than hope, the sheer size and importance of the industry to the global economy ensures the future remains bright, but only for those that adapt to the changing conditions and global growth opportunities. The fundraising environment remains challenging, particularly in Western Europe, and whilst in the last year there has even been a slowdown in places like China and India, it is interesting to see a renewed optimism amongst North American firms. Funds are feeling far greater pressure from limited partners, who are increasingly mobile and selective. There has been a 400% increase in firms noting pressure from LPs over fees. Investment activity is an important indicator of economic confidence, and there remains pessimism, particularly within Western Europe and India. Chinese respondents remain cautious despite signs of increased activity. But it is South Americans who are most bullish, with 75% surveyed expecting to see an increase in investment in the near future. Although not a single fund executive from the US or Canada foresees a decrease in activity. Raising debt and debt maturities remain huge concerns for Western Europe. But in contrast, North American firms appear to be having less of an issue raising banking finance and are less concerned about the impending debt maturities. When it comes to their own portfolios, most PEs remain positive. However, the number that profess a negative outlook has grown markedly. With growing internal and external pressures, the majority of funds are placing an increased importance on demonstrating that they're conducting business appropriately, and many are now investing time and resource into complying with ESG. Compared with last year, fewer respondents expect to exit their portfolio companies, and many expect overall returns to decrease. Exits will continue to be dominated by trade sales, with many of those coming from overseas, and secondary buyouts with a continuing decline in IPOs. Growth remains the key to the success of the industry, but it is hard to come by in many Western economies. Many are reticent about opening offices in new regions. However, firms are now more prepared to contemplate investing directly, and many more are being drawn into new markets by the demands of their portfolio companies. Whilst North American, Chinese and Indian respondents seem more focused on their own regions, Europeans appear more aware of where high growth opportunities may arise, noting Russia and Africa. Due to their proximity, MENA, Southeast Asian and South American firms appear willing to access opportunities in high growth economies, and they foresee exciting prospects in countries such as Turkey, Myanmar, Tanzania, Indonesia and Peru. The picture our respondents paint is one of an industry being pulled in numerous directions, including into new territories by LPs and by their portfolios. Firms are reacting and attempting to access new territories demonstrated by the increase in PEs, employing teams and operational partners in other regions. The search for growth is on and exciting opportunities await. How firms access them is evolving. Grant Thornton is a truly global organisation with a presence in over 100 countries. We are ideally positioned to provide insight, support and advice to PEs and their portfolios in the pursuit and realisation of their growth strategies.